Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here as always. I really do mean that. Um, I just want to start off by thanking all of my new subscribers. I hope that y'all are enjoying what I'm doing. It seems like you are. Comment, commenting in my video really, in my videos really helps me figure out um, how I can best make y'all happy. That's what I'm here for. Um, and so someone commented on my newest base design. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video talking about the new base design that I have. Um, I don't really have a name for it. Uh, I don't know, you can call it the Ninja Star or something, <laughs> whatever it may be. I cleared out the center so that we can talk about that, um, but it is a farming base. So uh, let me just zoom in and we can go ahead and talk through uh, some of the points of it. We have our Teslas um, triangulated around the base with traps around them as usual, um, kind of building a, <clears throat> a hallway of traps all the way around the base. So if giants break in um, down here in the bottom, they will work their way around to all of the traps that are throughout the base. Um, so that's going to be good. That's really going to save me, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of trouble when it comes to giants because giants can be a pest. I used to attack with them and when you have healers with them, it's very, very annoying to say the least. <laughs> so we also have our air defenses triangulated around. Um, they are protected pretty well. Uh, but since this is a farming base, I'm going to be protecting my other resources a little bit more than these. Um, we have our cannons and our archers, ta archer towers spread it out uh, fairly evenly across the base. And then down here we have this set of double walls um, to keep archers from shooting in at anything um, on the inside. So that's why those are there. Um, I'm going to test this base out and see how it goes and I'll keep you guys updated. But I'm definitely excited for it. It looks awesome. Um, I think that it's going to work very, very well. But now, obviously, the most important part of this base is protecting our resources. So we're going to bring in... Um, our gold storage and our wizard. I am centralizing a wizard. I know normally I centralize the clan castle, but I really want my um, my level six wizard to be right there in the center, just so that it can do a lot of damage to any um, goblins or anything that might get inside because it will do a whole bunch of damage to them. Next, I'm gonna bring my clan castle here and I'm gonna put it close enough to the edge where any troops that come close to the base, um, they can try and draw out the clan castle, but they're gonna be within the range of my archer tower and my cannon. So I'm perfectly fine with that, um, with it being not absolutely perfectly centralized. Next, we're going to bring our mortars in here, and they're going to be far enough apart that someone can't lightning spell all of them at once. Um, now, I know that there are four storages in the center, I'm sorry, but that's how I want to do this one. This wizard tower really, really protects it well, um, and I think that this space is going to be pretty awesome. I'm definitely excited about it. So as I always preach, guys, you have the wizard towers in a triangulated fashion as well as the mortars in a triangulated fashion covering the entire base. Same with the air defenses and the Teslas and all of these things, guys. Triangles are your best friends when it comes to units that you only have three of. So once you get up to Town Hall 9 and you have um, four wizard towers and you have four Teslas, then you're going to have to space them out in the corners and do pretty much four corners with them. Um, but anyways, that's the that's the gist of this base, guys. For the most part, we just bring everything else um, around here. One big thing that I am doing with this is um, <clears throat> right up here where I'm going to be storing my... Uh, Sorry, my town hall is going to be right here close to the base. Um, what you really want to do when you place your town hall tall, oh my goodness, when you place your town hall outside of your walls is make sure that there aren't any resource collectors close to it because anytime someone attacks with archers, um, they're going to have a couple of seconds to move on to the next closest thing. And as long as it's not um, as long as it's not a resource collector, all you're going to lose is maybe the 1000 resources that they get from the town hall. So as long as that isn't an issue, then you're not going to be losing any unwanted resources. So whenever you put your town hall out of the base, either put it really, really far away from your base like this, but that still doesn't matter because the archers are going to make their way in. Um, just put them, put them around things like this. Like all of my, um, all of my barracks are going to be around here, so that by the time they work in and start trying to get to this gold mine, they're all going to be dead. Um, so that's def that's going to save you a couple thousand, if not more, um, when it comes to your collectors, depending on how frequently you're on and um, everything like that. So definitely pay attention to that when it comes to where you're placing your town hall and what you're putting around it. Um, that's just a little tip that I use that has helped me out from losing uh, resources that I'm not really feeling like losing, if you know what I'm saying. So definitely make sure that you pay attention to that. Do that with your next base. 
um, or if you currently have your town hall outside of the walls, so you have a farming base, then make sure that none of your collectors are close to the town hall. That way you won't lose, as I said, um, unnecessary resources. So here's the base design, guys. I like it so far. I made it yesterday. The only losses that I've had on it um, have been people just picking off the town hall. Um, this guy actually tried to raid me with uh, a whole bunch of goblins, and it failed miserably. Um, same with... I think this one was with my old base, but everything else, guys, has just been people picking off the town hall because, I'm not going to lie, this base looks pretty intimidating with how it's laid out. Um, so, yeah, if you want to copy it, go ahead. If you want to tweak it, be my guest. I don't really mind. Um, this is for you guys. So, yeah, I hope you like it. As always, guys, y'all are awesome. You are so much cooler than me. Thank you so much for supporting me, and keep calm and clash on. I'll see you guys later.